So we have the equation 4x plus 2 equals 2x plus 4. We are trying to solve this equation. Our aim is to find our value of x. Now I'm going to use the bar model to represent this as I go through. So I'm going to make equal blocks of blue for my x's. Now they'll be as equal as I can make them. So we have 4x and I'm going to make a block in red for the positive 2. So this is the expression on the left hand side of my equation. The right hand side, I'll give you a minute to think what it should look like. Okay, it would have two equal blocks of x and notice how I'm making sure that they look as equal as possible. So 2x and the red bar will be a positive 4. That's the expression on the right hand side of my equation. And notice how my bars are equal in length, or as close as possible. Now, my first step is going to be to collect my x terms. So what I do is I would subtract 2x from both sides of my equation. And I ask you, why did I choose to do 2x from 4x rather than 4x from the 2x? Have a think. Now on my bar model, what I've done is I've taken away 2x from the top and 2x from the bottom. And that has left me with 2x plus 2 on the top of my bar and 4 on the bottom bar. And that makes sense. 4x plus 2 take away 2x is 2x plus 2, and 2x plus 4, take away 2x, is 4. My next step is going to be to collect the constants. What I mean by that is I am going to take away 2 from both sides of my equation. And I ask you again, why have I chosen to take the 2 over to the right and not the 4 over to the left? Now, what I have done here, let's just copy out the situation I have. 2x plus 2 on the top and 4 on the bottom. And what I have done is I've taken away a 2, taken away a 2, and that has left me with, and I'm going to scribble this bit in, it's left me with 2 on the bottom. So if I try and rub out this bit inside the block on the left, I've been left with 2 on the bottom. So what does that leave me with? That leaves me with 2x on the top equal to 2. And that makes sense. 2x plus 2 take away 2 is 2x on the left, and 4 take away 2 is 2 on the right. Now my final step is going to be, now to think what I'm going to say here, it's 2 multiplied by x, so I'm going to do the inverse, which is divide by 2. Now, if I draw out one final time what situation I have, I have 2 x's on the top and 2 on the bottom. Now, if I divide it by 2, I have just split this in half. If I split the top bar in half, I have x. If I split the bottom bar in half, I have 1. My solution, therefore, is x equals 1. And a nice check would be to go back to the start of my solution and substitute it in to the equation to check that it works.